Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be at City Pork, Brasserie and Bar. We're going to see how they make their signature dishes and signature cocktails. And we're going to find out what makes this place so great in the Baton Rouge area. City Pork Brasserie and Bar has been open out for a year and a half. It's the second concept out of three from the company. And this started out as a simple sandwich shop. That's, that's all it was going to be. Short service deli to a full service restaurant. We have our third location out uh, in Industrial Plex, which is uh, sort of a plate lunch place. Uh, so we've got three different concepts all underneath the same name of City Pork. Co-founder Trey Williams says it all started from his love of meat. I'm from North Louisiana. I do a lot of deer hunting and I uh, decided that I wanted to get into butchering my own deer. I really developed a love for the charcuterie side of things and um, you know, out of that City Pork was born. And with the addition of award-winning executive chef Ryan Andre, City Pork Brasserie and Bar went to a whole new level. Yep. Any kitchen run by Ryan Andre is, is a smash hit, no matter what. I've never been disappointed by anything he's ever put on a plate. We do a lot of smoked meats, a lot of charcuterie. Uh, we also bring in uh, wild boar, stuff like that, so we're using items and ingredients that some people in Baton Rouge aren't using, and we do everything in-house from scratch. Nice uh, marriage of, uh, of good tastes, uh, great service, which is a, a plus, plus it's a, it's a good farm and table concept, I like it a lot. It's really one of the few places where you can get a board like this in Baton Rouge. And the menu is constantly getting updated based off seasonal ingredients and new ideas from Chef Ryan. Well, I like to bring in our Louisiana ingredients, like the wild boar and rabbit and stuff like that, but I like to put different worldly spins on them to kind of get people to experience different cuisines in one restaurant. Now we're gonna learn how to make the most famous appetizer that was featured on Food Network's Burgers, Brew, and Q with Chef Michael Simon. Chef Ryan, you're about to show us how to make the... Wild Boar Flout. The Wild Boar Flout. Dun, dun, dun. You haven't tried them, they are so good. I can't wait to see how you guys make this. So the filling is what makes it so special. The filling takes us about three hours. Three hours? Three hours. Why? That's why we didn't do that right here. We uh, we braise it down in the oven until it, it's able to pull apart, uh -huh. just like we did with the pork. We mix it with all of our cheeses, green onions, and some of the braising liquid back into it, and that's mm. what incorporates the, uh, the mixture. And that's where all that flavor is. So we have three flour tortillas here, so that's what makes a complete order here. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna take some of the mix, we're gonna spread it out evenly. And you don't skimp on the filling. Oh, no, we don't. Not here. They're fat flautas. <laughs> so what made you decide to make this dish? Actually, I just made it as a, a, a past appetizer one day, and uh -huh. uh, everybody seemed to give a lot of feedback on it. So uh, we tried them out on the menu, and now it's one of our number one selling appetizers. Exactly. And it got Food Network's attention. Yes, it did. We stabbed these with the toothpicks just to hold them, drop them down in the fryer. We're gonna put another basket right on top, because they're gonna tend to float three minutes. All right. It'll be nice and crispy. They're nice and crispy now, hot through the center. Got them on the bias. And this is our house-made smoked avocado cream. We just take avocados, we cold smoke them in the smoker, mix them with sour cream, mayonnaise, a little bit of granulated, like a guacamole, but it's also smoked, so it goes with our theme. Yes, that tastes amazing. I've never tasted anything like that. You really taste the smokiness. We go with our, some of our pickled red onions, which add a little bite, mm -hmm. which is another one of our, our things that we do here for our charcuterie board, so we do all kind of pickled vegetables, any kind of seasonal fruits, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then some micro cilantro for freshness also. There you have it, the famous wild boar flautas. That's it then. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, honestly, one of the best appetizers I've ever had. No joke. It's crispy, creamy inside. You know, it's like nothing you've ever had before. And that smoky avocado cream dipping, it's amazing. So wild boar, not a common meat. No, that people cook with. Why did you choose wild boar? The wild boar is a lot more gamey, so you can actually taste it come through in the in the mm. flauta. The meat really pops out. You really taste the true flavor of the meat. This is fabulous. Chef Ryan, Thank you. awesome job. I appreciate it. Plenty more dishes and cocktails to feature here at City Pork Brasserie and Bar, so we'll see you next time on Carla's Kitchen.